Well, it would appear that silver's on the move. The price action is changing as it always does. So what does that mean? Should we buy? Should we sell? Should we try to take advantage of some of the benefits that the new price action could provide us? You know, let's talk about it. everyone silver joker here okay so if you're into physical silver at all then you've definitely noticed uh, silver's price action lately it's been up it's up, up more than two dollars than where it was uh last month at this time so we're basically on a roll uh it's been up and down but it's mostly up and so that's a good thing so i know a lot of people are wondering you know myself included <laughs> Um, how long is this momentum going to last? How long is this upward trajectory as far as spot price goes for silver? How long is that going to last? Well, you know, who knows? But I guess the real question is, what are you going to do? How is this latest action with silver's price going to affect your stacking? If you're already a stacker or if you're trying to decide to stack? That really is the question with what's going on right now. Are you going to buy silver? Are you going to sell silver? Are you going to wait? Well, this is the thing. Your silver's value is not what spot price is. It's not what your local coin store tells you he's paying for physical silver when you call him. That's not the price of your silver. That's not the value of your silver. That is unless, and this is a very important thing for silver stackers, that is unless you sell your silver at that price. Then now that price does become the value of your physical silver. If you're not selling at that price, then that is not the price of your silver. Your silver doesn't magically become that price while it's in your stack. It only becomes that price when you expose your physical silver to the market at that price. The market is whoever you're selling to, your bullion dealer, online bullion dealers, a friend, somebody in a forum, whatever. But whatever you agree your physical silver price is, and somebody's willing to pay you for that, then that is the price of your physical silver. Now, I know a lot of people are seeing it from another angle. They're seeing it from a different perspective, and that's true. That's the price of silver today, but that is not the price of your silver unless you're selling it today because tomorrow it will be a different price. And it's as simple as that. I mean, the market movement is not the price of the silver in your stack. That's the beauty of physical silver stacking. You get to choose when you expose your physical silver to the market. And once you understand that, once you can incorporate that concept into your physical silver stacking, you will be a much better stacker. You'll be a much more satisfied stacker. A lot of long-term stackers, me included, we sit back and we watch all this price action. You know, when the price is low, that's not a bad thing. That just means I get to stack more silver. When the price is up, then here's my opportunity to benefit from buying silver at a certain price. And that's all it is. It's buying silver so you can take advantage of the movements in the price action of physical silver. It's obviously gonna move. There's no doubt about that. I've shown you guys that time and time again with my videos. I've shown you proof. You can go and check my math. Silver has value. It will always have value. It will never not have value. And so by stacking it, you have a absolute 100% guaranteed opportunity to take advantage of silver's price movements. And that's all it is to it. Now, that's under normal circumstances. All right, so allow me to give you an example of what I'm talking about here. Now, this is a small clip that I'm gonna share with you. It's from a video that I posted, uh, I guess, roughly about a year ago now. I posted this about constitutional silver's value 
and how that's changed. And so the example I'm giving you here is how having uh, junk silver, this constitutional silver, gave you access to silver's, silver's price movement. So just watch this clip and then uh, we'll talk about it here in just a second. Well, as you can see, this is January 2019, just about a year before all hell breaks loose with the uh, lockdowns and all that kind of stuff. So everything was pretty much, you know, business as usual. $11 face for constitutional silver was normal. But I want to put, I want you to see something here. If you look right here, you can see that I also bought 15 Morgan dollars for $19 each. And American Silver Eagles, I bought 13 of those for $18 each. $18 for American Silver Eagles. And I'm going to tell you guys something. I bought a lot of American Silver Eagles during this time. A lot. And I bought, I, rough, I paid just about what you're seeing here. Maybe a little bit over, sometimes a little bit less than that. All right, so let's go to Money Metals Exchange real quick. All right, so Money Metals Exchange right now, today is May 5th, 2023. They're buying constitutional silver at $20.91 per $1 face. That's what they're paying for 90% silver, junk silver. Now, if you do the math, that's $136 face. I spent $1,461.80 for all of that combined. All right, so if I just sold that today, I could sell it right now for $20.91. Now, keep in mind, I paid an average of $10.50 per $1 face. And now I can sell that same $1 face for $20.91. So what I spent $1,461.80 for five years ago, I can almost double that today if I wanted to sell it today. So there you go. Man, that's what I'm talking about. See, silver's not gonna stay that price. Of course, it didn't stay there. Um, junk silver is at where it's at now. So it's not, it's moved, it's gone down since then. But if you had stacked it before then, like I did, then you could have taken advantage of that at a point where it was double what I paid for, double. And that's what silver does. It gives you an opportunity to take advantage of silver's price action. And if you have done the research, you have done the gut level honest budgeting for your personal finances, and you can stack physical silver for the long term comfortably, you can't lose. If you understand the concept, if you truly understand what physical silver is meant to do for you, you can't lose. That's why you see a lot of physical silver stackers here on YouTube who create content in the silver stacking community. That's why you see them so happy. <laughs> That's why you see them so satisfied when they pull out that silver and they show it to you. And if you're a new stacker and you don't really understand, um, you're wondering, how can they be so happy and so passionate about the silver they're showing me when spot price is this low and trending down? Well, that's because we understand that, for one, silver's not going to stay that price. And two, all these external factors don't affect what we have in our stacks. Now, if you buy physical silver stock, you buy physical silver shares, then of course you're, you're at the mercy of the market. You're at the mercy of wherever the market goes. But if you have and own it, it's in your hands, you can feel it and touch it and store it and it's in your possession, then the, the market, let the market do whatever it's gonna do. Let the market struggle and fuss and fight over the scraps of physical silver's tiny little movements and spot price. Because we understand if you own physical silver, if you have it in your possession, then you get to decide when you sell your silver and more importantly, how much you're gonna sell it for. If you got a bunch of silver shares, you're gonna sell it for whatever the market says it's worth. But between me and you, if you got silver that I want, we decide what we're gonna pay for outside of all that stuff. And that's a beautiful thing. And that's why you see us smiling when we're showing you our physical silver, because we've put in the work, the discipline, and the patience to get our stacks where they are to where we can benefit from wherever physical silver goes. If it's low, we're gonna buy. If the price goes up and we feel like we wanna take advantage with some of our silver, we expose it to the market then. And to me, that's a beautiful thing. It's a concept that you really have to accept. 
You have to drown out all the negativity. You got to drown out all those numbers and spreadsheets and all that kind of stuff. And it boils down to you owning a piece of physical silver that you hold in your hands that will always have value. It's as simple as that. It's easy once you get to where you understand it and you accept that this is what silver is capable of doing for you and you drown out all the other fantasy. Once you understand what it really is supposed to do for you and how you can truly benefit from it, then you'll be smiling too when you're holding your physical silver in your hands. <laughs> anyway, that's all I want to say about that. We're going to go down. We're going to talk to my local coin store owner, Phil. We're going to get an idea of how he prices his silver as far as his premiums when he's um, selling physical silver and how much he's charging or how much he's paying when uh, you bring your silver in to sell to him. And we're going to get an idea of how he uses spot price or not to come up with those those figures with those prices. And he's pretty open about these kind of things. And hopefully he'll be open about this subject when I ask him. Anyway, we're just going to keep the silver train rolling. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.